Ah, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Every primary school in South End will soon benefit from a multilingual induction DVD in over 20 languages for new pupils. They'll cover things like going to school, where to sit, playtime, behaviour and school rules. It's being trialled at Westborough Primary in Westcliff, and that's where we find BBC Essex reporter Colleen Harris. Morning, Colleen. Oh, hi, because I must say that's uh, Japanese for good morning and welcome to Westboro. I'm surrounded by uh, children from all over the world, from Poland, Nigeria, Japan, Romania, South End and South Africa, just in one school. And funny enough, some of them I spoke to earlier said they, they don't actually speak much of their native language. But this induction programme is for new pupils coming here. Jerry Bennett is deputy head teacher. Um, you can tell us about this 40 minute film. It was filmed here. What information? do children actually get when coming? Well, this film was actually made by English Schools Induction Service and they used Westboro as the basis in which to base their, their film. The information is like a cult cultural introduction to coming to school in England. It introduces children and families in, to the medium of their own language to really the culture of British education. And while schools are very different places, there are fundamental things that are the same. We think it's a very, very valuable resource. It does allow us to welcome families into our community and also to prepare our children and the whole community for the diverse cultural world that young people now are going to inhabit. So it will touch on things like, you know, behaviour, playtime, what you do in the schools here and classrooms. But how do teachers, your teachers, usually handle new pupils with different customs? Um, it, everybody wants to be respected, and I think as human beings that's the fundamental core business, especially for education. So we greet people, meet people, and this is an additional tool that we can use to give people an opportunity to get the information in the medium of their own language. It never replaces human contact, but it is a very, very valuable aid. Excellent. Well, let's speak to some of the pupils here. Introduce yourselves, please. Hello, my name is Alistair and I come from Japan. Hello, my name is Rachel and I come from Zimbabwe. Hello, my name is Luciana and I come from Romania. And the boy here. Hello, my name is Yathin I come from South Africa. Ah, lots of you were in this video as well. Oh, and we've got a South End girl here as well. What's your name? Isabel. Isabel. You were all in this video. Tell us what you had to do. We had to, like, show where the toilets are. We had to talk about what countries we come from. And what's the best part about the filming? Do you remember? by any of the good parts, but I think I think I can remember that was all good. No, uh, you're all from different countries, but do you remember much about what, when you first came here, what it was like for you, um, you know, coming with to people with different cultures from your own? It was quite scary coming here at first, and um, because there um, were lots of people from all over the world, and I couldn't speak that much in this then, so it was quite scary. And now you all play together, you have lots of friends from all over. Do you know much about their countries as well? Yes, I know quite a lot about Zimbabwe now. <laughs> this is your best friend, it looks like. You've been together all, all for the whole hour. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Sandra Roberts is Chief Executive of South End Education Trust. It's a partnership you work uh, about languages in schools, that's right? Yeah, we do all sorts of things, helping schools work more collaboratively together and uh, doing things together better than they, than they could do as individual schools. And this is an example of that. All schools in South End need this kind of resource. And rather than 55 of them develop something separately, they've, all, they've pooled together and done it on behalf of each other. Now talking of all schools needing it, the programme is called ESIS and it's because it will be available online to all 37 primary schools as well. Uh, what does ESIS mean, stand for? Uh, the English Schools Induction Service and uh, it's, it's a, a South End company called Blade Education that we've been working with on this project. Now it's great for schools like Westboro, which is a very multicultural school, uh, but all 37 schools in, in South End, I mean, is there a need for this? There is, and this, the, um, the schools say that there's even more of a need in those schools where they've got fewer children from ethnic minorities and, and coming from other countries because, you know, they might just have one family from Poland turning up on, on a Monday morning and they've got no other Polish speakers to support them. So it's more important in some ways for those schools that have got fewer children with um, other languages. Excellent. Well, uh, I've asked a few of you already if you can speak uh, some of your native language. Can anyone say welcome to Westboro? Bonvenit la Westboro. Ah, and you are? Remain. Ah, excellent. Well, there you go, Ray. It's a 40-minute DVD available to all uh, primary schools in South End uh, soon, but it's on trial at the moment. That's Colleen Harris, who is a polyglot. Did you know that? 
Oh, sorry. You're a polyglot, apparently. What does, what does that mean? Uh, a polyglot is someone who can speak several languages. Ah, a polyglot. Yeah. A polyglot. A polyglot. Yes. I think <laughs> polyglot is a prettier sorry. word, to be honest. <laughs> Colleen Harris in South Bend.